hello we'll be making the easiest way to make butternut squash chapati and what I need for my chapati is butternut squash so it's boiling and I will need flour some salt and I do put some cinnamon but that's optional and um, I'll be blending my butternut squash so here I have my butternut, butternut squash I've already blended it in this tub there is sugar because um, I like putting a little bit of sugar in my chapati and when I was boiling my butternut squash I did put a little bit of salt to boil with it but not much salt so I will need a little bit of salt when I'm making my dough so I'll start mixing the dry ingredients first um, this is cinnamon but it's optional depending on what you would like in your chapati this flour is 1.5 kg and uh, because I've learned <laughs> to make ch uh, chapati through my mom so she does tell me to put at least one and a half one to a, one to one and a half teaspoon of salt but again as you need uh, as you mix and knead it's important to check if the salt tastes taste to your to your liking so in my dough in my flour I've mixed a teaspoon of cinnamon I've put one and a half teaspoon of salt and I did put three spoons of sugar those are my dry ingredients so what I'm going to do I'm going to pour my my butternut squash in the flour so to finish so that's my dough to finish kneading my dough I've added some vegetable oil just to make it softer so on a clean surface area clean surface area what I'll do I'll put my dough here and cut it into small balls so I have my balls there and there is different ways of doing it so everyone can find a way that it's easier for them so I have my balls there so next what I'm going to do I'm going to roll them I'm going to to roll them and apply some vegetable oil and leave it for at least 20 to 30 minutes so I've rolled it using my my rolling pin I've applied some vegetable oil and I'm going to roll it to a ball so all my chapati balls are rolled and what I'm going to do now I'm going to cover them with a tea towel for at least 20 minutes and then I'll come back to them okay so I've um, I've put this is the pan I'm going to use I've put my pan to start heating and these are my chapati balls rolled up and after 20 minutes now I'll start using my rolling pin and rolling them up here so what I'm going to do is I'll need some flour And then 
throw all it. You can, if it's still sticky and you still want to roll it out more, you can add some more flour. And that's, that's a good size for me. My pan is hot. It's hot now. And I'm going to put that on there. And um, I'm going to need my oil. I'm going to need my oil and a spoon. But I'll have to wait for the chapati to cook. Not completely, but a little bit both sides before applying my oil. Okay, I can see some little bubbles. And I'm going to turn it round. Wow, look at that. So you don't fully cook because you will need you will need to put some oil. So I give a few seconds to the second side before putting some oil. So I will check. Oh, that's ready. So I will apply my oil. I will apply my oil on the top side. Gently rub it on the chapati and then turn it round. Yeah. And then I will do the same to the second side. And then turn it round. I'm doing this so that the oil can be distributed evenly. And then I will check and my chapati is ready. Sorry about that. I'm just getting a plate to put it on. Voila. So that's my chapati. And I will be doing that to the rest of my chapati balls so our butternut squash chapati are done and this is how they look inside yep and i'm happy i'm happy with the results ha that's how they look